Severium Update 0.47 will add a new game mode called Slaughter, animations for special items, a new training mission, more variations of the available locations, and much more. See the details below. For fans of action-packed games, we present a new experimental mode, Slaughter. The fights are held on already familiar locations, however, part of the locations are blocked. This mode is primarily suitable for players who prefer action-packed shooting at short and medium distances. So a good weapon choice here will be the submachine guns, shotguns, and assault rifles. For a long time, Severium did not have animation for characters while using medkits, bandages, and other special items. Not only did that make gameplay less realistic, it also was confusing for the players who couldn't understand why the opponent doesn't die after taking a lot of damage. The game will have animations of characters using bandages, medkits, and antitoxins. But keep in mind, you won't be able to shoot during the special item animation, so you need to find a right moment to pat yourself up in a battle. We continue to improve the first steps of the newcomers, and for this created a brand new tutorial mission explaining basics of the game. The mission has a location made from scratch, including new anomalous trees, buildings, and landscape. Hopefully this mission will be interesting not only to the new players, but for Severian veterans as well. The mission will be available to all players from the menu. As you might have guessed, they don't call me the mediator just because of my beautiful eyes. I introduce good people to one another and help them get what they want. You want to get out of this garden zone alive, and my friends would like to get back the artifact they lost to one of the black market gangs. You catch my drift. In Severium Update 0.47, five more variations of existing maps are waiting for you. Two new versions of Chemical Plant, two versions of Vostok Radar Station, and one of Cologne Bridge. Thanks to these, the game will become more unpredictable and you will be able to use new tactical routes depending on the location. We continue to work on the balance of the game and in Update 0.47, you can expect to see some significant changes in the recoil of weapons. Thus, the behavior of weapons will become more predictable and now it will be easier for each player to choose a weapon best suited to their style and ability to play. There will also be two new weapons, the rare PPSH-41 with a drum magazine at the first equipment level and a shotgun, the KS-23 on the fifth level. The shotgun ammo will be available in two options, slug and buckshot. Today we have mentioned only the most significant changes. For a more detailed description of all the changes in Update 0.47, click on the link below and watch the video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the battlefields of Severium.